Hey guys, so I'm really I'm realizing I've never shown you the inside of our farm. This farm is um, 250, 300 years old, something like that. Here's the front. My great grandparents owned it, and then my grandparents farmed it. Um, but they were they were only here in the summers to farm it. So here, we'll go through the door here. I'm gonna warn you, <clears throat> it's pretty rough. Nothing's ever been done to it. Um, in fact, the stairs are starting to cave toward the basement. So off to the right here is a bedroom. Unfortunately, it's full of old furniture that has not been cleared out. And you can see everything's kind of Ceilings are falling in, wallpaper is falling off. Take up the stairs here, and then off to the left of the stairs is a little area for coats. And then we head into the living room. And there's a beautiful old stove that my grandmother used to cook on for every meal. We'd like to get the chimney checked out. are my great grandparents and these are my grandparents over here Hazel and Alvin and then we've got the sun porch which we keep the shades pulled but we were up in the attic recently and found these beautiful dishes so we pulled them out and we started to unwrap them and look at all of these. This one, and I think the whole set is from Holland. These cute little bunnies there. Hi. Hi. My sweet hubby cleaning up. I'm picking up. <clears throat> We'll head into the kitchen. So you can set, tell that nothing has been touched in years. My uncle was the caretaker. He was very old and so his main thing was keeping the fields mowed and keeping the place standing. So here's the work shed attached to the house. Again, very rough. The ceilings are where they stored all kinds of extra wood and that sorts of thing. Oftentimes we'd see my uncle doing his uh, various repair and work here at this workbench. And then we go this way. Ignore the screaming. She's absolutely fine. And we've got a two-seater outhouse. This is a picture of my grandfather and his twin sister. And they were born in 1903. And my grandfather passed on the farm to my mother. So... Now we're gonna head up the stairs if there's enough light and I'll show you what's what's up there. It's a little spooky as the floors are not even. What was that? Here's the bedroom. And then behind this door is the attic space where we found all of the dishes. So we'll take a peek inside. So 
this floor is very spongy. But, and obviously it looks like it's a huge mess, which it is, but there are so many treasures up here that belong to my grandparents. Let's see, there's an old sewing table here in the back. Sorry, it's so dark. Let's see, is that light? light on it. We got this fainting chair here. Of course, it's covered in records. That I believe belong to my uncle. And then there's dishes and things everywhere. Lots of rocking treasures. horse for kids. Oh, and neat. this I always like to tell guests who come. These are corn husks. And they were dried up here in the attic where it was nice and hot and dry in the summers. And they are used for wiping your bum. Wiping your bum. <laughs> so when you had to go to the bathroom, you would come up and you get yourself a corn husk and bring it down to the outhouse. And instead of toilet paper, that's what was used. Right, Violet? Yeah, and also last time I found um, the ukulele book. Yes, yeah. Violet found a ukulele book in here, too, so she can play the ukulele. Um, there's my, my grandfather's old hunting jacket over there in the corner. Kind of cool. A few and paintings also, over there. Four. Just reproductions. But Anyhow, I thought you'd like to take a peek. Don't close the door on me. I'm not going to close the door on you. Turn the light off when you come out. Yeah, it can be a little scary up here at times. So that is the end of our farmhouse tour. Um, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.